Hey, I'm Super Senpai, and today we're going to be talking about GPT engines. I guess I haven't played games in a while, and it's because I've been doing some research on AI different models. And for me, it was to figure out which one is the best. And the answer here is, it doesn't matter, it's like your choice, your preference. But I thought, you know what, to answer everyone's question, what is the best way to test these GPT models? And the most intelligent game people say that... You know, if you're the best at it, your intelligence is chess. So I thought, you know what, let's have all three fight against each other in the game of chess. I brought ChatGPT, which is Microsoft's technically speaking, Gemini, which is Google's, and we got Meta AI. So let's get started by looking at some replays, each of them facing against each other in chess. And we'll see the king of chess in the GPT world. Now, if you don't know what GPT means, it means generative pre-trained text, which means AI has existing knowledge and just has to implement it into the system. So there is a vast amount of information out there that it should know about chess, the best strategy, how to play. Let's see if this actually works. So in the first game we brought out, we have on white, we have ChatGPT, and black, it is uh, Gemini. First game, the opening is pretty simple. ChatGPT goes for the basic pawn up front, and Gemini uh, mirrors back with the pawn up front too. And as you see, GPT move knight towards f3. Basic move. Google decides to move to b4 with a pitch up, which is a basic move too, tries to be offensive. Now, ChatGPT tries to be a little more defensive, putting knight up front to block a little bit. Google decides, I'm going to put the queen in there. But the queen could be captured by the knight. ChatGPT decides to go on his own route to defend a bit more with the pawn. Google moves the queen back towards uh, f6, which allows it to be a little bit more defensive so the queen's not attacked. GPT decides to move the bishop to d2. Oh yeah, now the chat GPT is trying to ask it to castle, but it can't, so now just moving the knight. Knight is on d5, so it allows it to take the queen, potentially. Uh, Gemini moves the queen to a not safe area of f5 where the pawn can eat the queen. At this point, for some reason chat GPT moves pawn to c3, I don't know, you have a clear shot of the queen. Gemini eventually moved the queen down one. For some reason, ChatGPT refused to steal the queen, and uh, Bishop moves to e3. Gemini starts saying it's game over, and then it says queen is check for some reason at f3. So it changes the queen to f4, which is a legal move, but right in front of the bishop. ChatGPT moves the bishop to e3, why? Then, Gemini says move the queen to c3, and it's a checkmate. Game over. But c3 is not, you can't move the queen to c3. So as a result, the queen eats the knight at f3. ChatGB responds, bishop captures the queen at f3, but there's no bishop on f3, so you can't capture the queen with the bishop. ChatGB finally decides to move the knight to c7, which is a check. That's a fork to allow it to take the castle. Queen takes your knight on c7. This is checkmate. No, you cannot move the queen to c7 because your queen is f3. So he move, uh, Gemini decides to move queen to f2. This is check. Finally, it moves the king. And then quickly, Gem uh, ChatGPT takes over the rook over there. Gemini decides to move the king to d8, which allows ChatGPT to go for g5 for the check. Now, this is where the game gets frustrating. Gemini says move king to c8. You can't move to c8. At this point, Gemini says king to d8. This is checkmate. Game over. Black wins. One, you did not win. Two, you cannot get checkmate with a king. That's actually impossible the way the game is. It actually is not possible. Can't move to d8 because you'll be in check by the bishop over there. And this conversation goes on for a while with Gemini, which is very annoying. Finally, king moved to e8. And uh, Chachi B decides to check it with the knight. Now we get to the point where Gemini, I, I literally, you see that. I had to take a screenshot to tell Gemini, this is check. You cannot move any of these places in these areas. Finally, Gemini moves. All right, pawn moves, d4, little movement here. At this point, I kind of lost track because uh, a lot of back forth to tell. So finally, we see some progress. ChatGPT moving the queen. Gemini is moving the queen. 
pawn attack f4, which is incorrect because there's no there. But finally, ChatGPT takes the queen. I had to import the image of the board to explain. You are black. It's your move. What is your move? And it keeps saying moving king. So at this point, I got frustrated. I said, Gemini, do you want to forfeit? Because you are no longer making proper rules in this game. So I asked Josh, hey, Gemini, are you forfeiting? And Gemini says, I forfeit. The winner is ChatGPT. Because Gemini does not understand the state of the board of chess, nor does it know the rules of chess. The basic rule, a king cannot get checkmate. That game took me 30 minutes to do because of the back and forth with Gemini telling it, you cannot checkmate with a king. The winner is ChatGPT. Moving on to the second game, which ends up being Meta versus ChatGPT. Meta is going to be white and ChatGPT will be black. So it looks like a pretty basic game. Pawns are moving up, pretty good, mirroring. Now Meta is doing a normal open, knight to f3. There's a mirror right there with ChatGPT moving the, wearing the knight. So we kind of have a mirror-ish here. And then uh, Meta made a mistake. So it just moved the pawn to a basic defensive position. This allows uh, ChatGPT to move the pawn in an attacking position. Meta moved the pawn up, trying to challenge the bishop. Bishop steals the pawn, which Gemini, sorry, which, oh, so now they moved the knight to g5 to have a little bit more aggression. Uh, ChatGPT decides to move the queen to f6, even though it could, okay, no, that's fair, I, I see it. Meta decides to go back on defense, and knight goes to h3. Chatcher Bean moves the pawn up to oh, put a little bit more defense towards pawns. I see a little attack now with aggression from Meta moving the pawn up to c3. Bishop moves back defensively for uh, Chatcher BT to go to b6. Now Meta moves the knight up. Chatcher B decides to move the knight to e7. As you're seeing this pattern, both of them are, have very bad memory on when the pieces are on the floor. Anyways, knight finally moves with ChatGPT. Meta moves knight to go after the queen. All right, that's aggressive. Queen to h4. So they move the pawn. And ChatGPT takes the knight, which is a direct shot to the queen. So the queen can go after ChatGPT's queen. Okay, pawn's coming up. So now you see the queen moving to the bishop. But the bishop could take it, and instead of taking the queen, it decides to move the pawn to go after the knight. And at this point, I'm realizing this game took about 30 minutes as well. So I'm just going to speed up the game for myself. At this point, a lot of our waiting is because ChatGPT decides to move certain pieces to positions it cannot. But at this point, now you're seeing the board state. It's kind of a tie-ish, except ChatGPT is really risking it with the queen. Or Meta doesn't know you can eat the queen. I'm, I'm starting to see that Meta, maybe Meta doesn't know in chess you're supposed to take pieces. Uh, whatever these two are doing, either this is a big brain move or I'm not sure what's happening in this game or the logic. So I'm lost, just the king got checked. And this is the point of the game where ChatGPT is going aggressive to keep checking, but the queen can get eaten. But for some reason, Meta doesn't understand it can be. So the way it's moving, Meta doesn't understand its pieces around. That's why it's moving around pieces and making mistakes. It keeps saying, I want to move to b2 or b1, even though it has a bishop and a knight there. ChatGPT keeps moving around the pieces, not being afraid that it could be eaten by the queen or the bishop or the knights. Queen goes after king, check. King runs away. Queen goes high down, trying to check. King keeps running away. Even though it can check, not check. I don't know what's happening anymore. ChatGPT thinks it's trying to be offensive by doing only checks instead of thinking about checkmate and then Meta's trying to run away without realizing it can take over the offensive piece that's going after it. So at this point Meta actually announced this is a tie and I'm like no it's not like look at this board because it just could not understand how to get out of the situation assuming that it is a tie because none of the pieces can move. ChatGPT on their hand kept moving, but it just kept assuming that all I had to do check, not checkmate. As a result, this stalemate, Meta is the one that admitted the forfeit. 
an hour and a half of my life. Yes, I said that. We have the final rankings. In first place, we have ChatGPT as the winner because it has one win and because of the fact that it did not forfeit but had the tie because ChatGPT accepted the tie, second place goes to Meta. Now you're wondering, when did Meta win a game? Based on what happened with ChatGPT thinking Moving King is checkmate, I refuse to simulate this game. I do not want to lose another half an hour of my life to this bot. In the future, if you would like to see a more in-depth version, maybe I'll waste more time on it. But for today, I am not going to commit another 30 minutes to see Gemini think Moving in King is checkmate. And finally, the loser of the three bots, Gemini. Gemini does not understand how to play chess. Very unfortunate. I would assume otherwise. So after that frustration of an hour of my life gone, hour and a half, I thought, okay, I wonder if I can beat a GPT engine at chess. So I went to face after the king, ChatGPT at chess. And this is how it went. All right, I do my normal opening. I like doing this opening. I think it's called Slab. I'm not sure if chess people can go at me. And at this point, I put a little aggression to have my pawns in a attack position. Instead, it's going a little aggressive. I have both pawns up. Now we move. We both move our knights to mirror, but it didn't factor in. My pawn was ready to take the knight. I move the queen to position. Use the pawn to take the king. My queen now is in a strong position where uh, I am in the advantage of pieces. Did not move the queen, so I took the knight, stole the queen, and now major advantage in this game where queen is in attacking position. Knight is getting stolen by the castle. I put the queen out to a6, check. At this point, ChatGPT says, I want to move the queen. You lost your queen a few turns ago, so you cannot do that. And ChatGPT keeps offering different moves. Some reason GPT engines do not understand when you're in check, you must avoid the check or else you cannot move other pieces. Finally moving the king, I have moved the knight. For a reason, move the castle down. I just took the castle right off the bat. Bishop's getting pushed now. Um, I think trying to take the knight at this point. I moved the bishop to check. Move the bishop to the block. I took the bishop. Now we're in winning position. Check me. So, I am the champion of chess over GPT engines. Yay! Which means at the end, eh, GPT engines are not a master. They are a nice jack of all trades. Sure, there are some AI engines that are built on chess models, which are probably smarter by leagues levels, because they're made to be specific for chess. Uh, hopefully this was an interesting video, because at least I know which GPT engine is a little bit better. I'm so disappointed Gemini not understanding how to play chess. That's two hours of my life and they're going to get back. But if you would like to see a more in-depth version of this video, uh, let me know. Maybe I'll make a part two with all the other AI engines out there that are more popular. Thank you for watching. Hopefully I'll see you next time where I have no idea what I do these days. Half days I do gaming, half days I do pickleball, half days I do videos I do research on. When you see me next time, you'll see me next time. Thanks for watching.